Hi guys, welcome to Cooking in HD, it's Bart, and today I've got a real treat for you. I was actually lucky to be in New Orleans for Mardi Gras a few weeks ago, and while I was there, I had uh, the privilege of going to Landry's Seafood, where I had this stuffed shrimp and brochette, or at least I think that's how it's pronounced. Anyway, what it was, was shrimp stuffed with a seafood sort of a, a concoction which contained uh, a lot of things, I can only guess, but one of them was definitely crayfish or crawdaddies. They're basically freshwater lobsters. And so, um, being in Canada, I don't readily have access to uh, crayfish. So what I used was crab. And using crab and cheese and things like chives and spices, I've created my own stuffing for these shrimp and I've wrapped them in bacon just as I saw at uh, Landry's and I'm serving them over top of these giant Vidalia onion rings. And this is sort of my version of uh, the dish that I had at Landry's which was amazing. Uh, great hospitality in New Orleans, just really fine people. I really appreciated their food. And so this is my interpretation of shrimp uh, stuffed with uh, seafood ingredients and wrapped in bacon served over top of uh, onion rings. I hope you enjoy. Cheers. Well, let me show you what goes into our shrimp stuffing. I've got some pickled jalapenos and I'll be using about a tablespoon of these and, and the juice that's in there. I've got uh, some Philly cream cheese and I'll be using a cup of that. Some chives which I'll be giving a fine chop to some chipotle chili powder, and two cans of crab meat, which looks kind of like that. Now, when I had this in New Orleans, I actually had it with um, some crawdaddies or crayfish. Basically, they're uh, like freshwater lobsters. I don't have any of those here in Canada, especially this time of the year, so I have to use crab meat as a substitute. If you can get crayfish, then by all means do so. I think it'll just make this a little bit more authentic. Okay, so here's the crab meat and the cream cheese, and now I'm gonna just mix everything together. By the way, the cream cheese has been sitting at room temperature for a few hours, so it's nice and soft. Okay, so I have this now, the consistency that I want it, and now I'm going to finally chop some chives and add those in here as well. Okay, now this is what the pickled jalapenos look like and I just want to give these a really fine chop. And I've had, I don't know, there are about five or six in there. Um, you know, just adjust this to taste because even though they're pickled, they still have some heat, which is good. We want that, but um, you know, you might want a little bit more, a little bit less. So let's keep that in mind. Now with the jalapenos chopped and mixed in, we're just gonna add just a small dash of the uh, chipotle powder. It's pretty, pretty potent stuff. There, that should do it. We'll mix this in. All right, I've got a cleaned and butterflied shrimp here. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a tablespoon of the filling that we just made and a piece of bacon and then just gonna lay it down and start wrapping. Okay. And then with a toothpick, I just wanna close that and by piercing it through. All right, voila. Well, we've got our shrimp all wrapped up and they're ready to go into the deep fryer now. Okay, I've got my shrimp in there as well. Let me just show you, okay. Looking nicely, come back in the back. All right, these look great. I'm gonna take them out. 
do another batch. Okay guys, so here is the final product. I'm really proud of it. Here's how I've plated it. I'm serving it over top of some giant onion rings and I've got my uh, shrimp over there. Be careful, you gotta make sure that you take the toothpicks out. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this Monterey Jack Cheese Mornay sauce on top, like so, on each one. Okay, we've got some um, lumps there. Unfortunately, the, g the cheese just wouldn't completely melt, but that's okay. I'm gonna enjoy this anyway. So, here we go for the taste test. Mmm. <laughs> wow, take a look at that. You've got your stuffing in there, and you've got your shrimp wrapped in bacon. I'll tell you, anything tastes good wrapped in bacon. The chives are there. I'm really going to enjoy this. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in to Cooking in HD. Always appreciate your comments. I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Cheers.